Welcome back everybody. Hope you're having a good day or I hope you had a good day depending on where you are and when you're watching this. Uh, the sun is shining right now. Anxious to get started for another workout. We will be working with the gliders today. No worries if you haven't had, uh, made, had a chance to make your own gliders. Um, you can do this workout without a glider. So I will show that variation as well so everyone can participate. Today I just want to give a special shout out. I understand that there's a lot of young kids that are joining our workout. So shout out to Sid, to Alana, and to Jana. Thank you for helping me keep your parents in good health. So looking forward to connecting with you guys again today. Uh, this will be a 30 minute workout. Once again, I remind you that if you need to take a break, take one. If you need to skip a rep or two, do that as well. Uh, again, offering lots of modifications, do what you can. We will do a complete full body workout if you've ever done gliders before, you can would agree with me that doing 30 minutes of gliders is quite challenging. So enjoy today's workout and uh, hopefully you get through it okay and then we can move on to tomorrow's workout. All right, so if you are using the homemade gliders, they do work on the floor. So if you have hardwood floor, that works. Or I also discovered that if you have an area rug, the homemade gliders work quite nicely on the area rug as well not so much with the real gliders. So if you're using these, you're on hardwood floor, if you have your homemade gliders, either hardwood floor or area rug will work. So just to begin, a couple reminders, three quarters of your feet are on the gliders. So just your heels are off the gliders. Your heel is, serves as your brake. So whenever you wanna stabilize a leg, the heel goes down on the floor. Whenever you wanna slide, the heel comes off the floor. Also notice it's not on your toes. So all you have to do is just slightly lift your heel up off the floor. It'll give you the freedom to slide and not uh, stress out the calf. So watch for that. The more you push and the more you drag in, the more work you do. I love the glider workout because it is a very effective core workout. You will feel your abs, you will feel your butt, and you will feel your back in each movement. Uh, you'll see me standing, you'll see me down on the floor. Do what you can. The more you push and pull, the more you'll get from it. Think about abs constantly for the next 30 minutes. All right, I think I'm ready now. So we begin again in our squat position, very familiar with you by now, and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, let's go. So once again, abs are tight, shoulders are back. Start off with a simple squat, just to get you ready. You're gonna go lower, and you're gonna rise. As we talked about over the last couple of workouts, you got singles here. The squat is so important because it involves all the big muscle groups that'll warm us up in a hurry. We go reach, long arms. If you have hand weights, you can incorporate that in your glide workout as well. Slow on three, now come down slow, give me a big swim arm. Pull up tall with a good tight butt squeeze. And again, we go smooth, smooth, pull up. Once more, three, two, we got singles. Let's try again. Push up, nice and tall. Love the gliders. It really benefits our posture. Go reach, teaching us to keep our shoulders back, our core strong. All right, let's come down on two, on two. Nice and smooth, and rise, squeezing. I want you to notice that when you come out of that squat, come right out of it, so your back is tall. Go reach. All right, you got singles. Let's go. Here we go. Push and pull right up out of it. Release to the back and press. We go push and rise. Give me a couple more times after two. All right, now we can take this into a slide squat. Slide, slide. It's a squat and lift. Keep that squat clean. Don't hurry through it. Push through. All right, you got that move? Now use the gliders by dragging that foot in and pushing the body up tall. We go long, reach, pull. Give me two more tries. It doesn't take long. Two steps over before the body starts to warm up. And reach. Push, drag, push, drag. Do it again. Great inner thigh work, which are awfully, often neglected. Back to singles, here we go. Breathe. As you get warmer, that squat gets a little bit deeper, the power out of that step becomes stronger. 
Two steps, two steps, here we go. Push, drag, squeeze. And again, push, drag, squeeze. And when I say squeeze, I mean your glutes tighten up. Push, and again. Do this again, keep it going two times. Push, are you coming up tall to complete the move? Pull your shoulders back. And again, push, pull. Back to singles. Now, can you get me a little bit further? Do not change your squat though. It's still a clean squat. And push. Go reach. Two steps. Here we go. Two. Now, depending on your space, you may need to modify that move a wee bit. And again, push. Press. Go again on two. If you wish, you can change the upper body. Hup. And press. If you're without gliders, check it out. Yeah? Same thing. Push. Back to singles. Here we go. Singles. Step. Tall body. Step. Are you on? I'm moving you on. And reach. You got four more. So try it without the gliders. If you don't have any, it doesn't mean you, don't, you can't do this workout. All right, hold here, hold here. Shake it up. Step back onto your gliders. We're gonna work your lunges now. Shoulders back. When you're ready, you're gonna extend one leg back. Hold it here for me. Notice that front knee is gonna stay right over top of your ankle. Now we're gonna pull up and reach long. So unlike your regular lunges, the back leg is gonna stay straight. Dig through that stabilizing foot and give me a nice tight squeeze. The same arm is going to extend, so you have a nice long body. Come up tall and release. Come up tall and release. You got single. Here we go. So we drive up tall. Come up tall. So the abdominals are actually helping the abs or the leg come up tall. So it's abs and glutes. Strong. Let's do it again. We go long. Up. Now you're going to feel something in that support leg. You're likely going to feel the glutes. You're going to feel the quads. And reach. Two more. Two. All right. Slow down again. On two. Ready? Coming up. Nice and tall. Push. Drag it in. Use your abs to pull that leg in. Drive it in. And release. Drag it in. I want to show you without the gliders. Let's do it again. Slide, tall, squeeze. Lengthen. Coming up. And lengthen. Coming up, nice and tall. And release. There's that good posture again, right? Nice and tall. All right, you got singles. Here we go. Hup. Drive it. Drive it. Are you starting to feel the overload on that support side? I'm hoping you are. Reach. I got my daughter keep, I'm keeping me in time here. All right, now you can come down low, come down low. Now we're gonna go for the overload of that support side. We drive. Are you feeling it? Feel the heat start to build in the quads. All right, double time, quick, quick, we go, quick, quick. We're almost there, hold on, stay with me. Drive, drive. You got four more. And three, you got it? Here's two. All right, take it up, take it up. You feel it? Oh, you should. And I trust me when I tell you, you don't feel it today, you might be thinking about me no more. All right, stretch back. Deep breath. Shake it up. All right, we gotta go to leg number two. When you're ready, once again, reach long. Come on up. Reach long. So that support side, the heel is planted in the floor. The back leg is long. Take it and reach it. Nice and tall. I'm asking you to please, when you come out of that move, nice and tall. Go long and then give you another round here slowly. Just make sure we have it long. Coming up, tall body. Can you use your abs to drag in that leg? Use the weight of the leg to work the abs. And again, long. All right, you got singles, here we go. Push, 
Cool. Hey, my girl Sydney. How are you feeling? Are you showing your mom a few tricks? You stay strong, nice and tall. Stay here another round, another round. We go long, come up tall. On that tall move, it's got to come with a squeeze of the butt, tightening of the abs. Reach, press, long. All right, ready to load. Take it low. Go reach. Here we go. Abs are still on. They're going to be on for the next 20 minutes here, gang. Strong. Pull. All right, so we're feeling that heat. Double time. Let's go. Push. We're going for the overload. Stay with me. This should be very uncomfortable. Strong. Drive. Here's four, three, two, and up you come. Three. Grab some water if you need it. You need to stretch though. How are you making out? Should feel your heart rate elevated a wee bit. Not at our high end of cardio, but we're getting there. So go hard as you're racing. Legs are starting to warm up. Now we're gonna head to side lunge. I want you to be careful on this one. Watch your range going to work on the inner thigh. Again, start off tall body, slowly, drag in, slowly, and drag in, slow, and drag, slow, all right, take it to the other side, slow, slow, and drag in. I'm trying to make sure I'm in the right position so you can see this. So now the harder I want to work, the more I'm going to dig the ball of my foot into that glider. You got that piece? All right, let's try this side. Here we go. Now we're going to stay on this side. Come up tall. We go long. How far you stretch, guys, is up to you. Whatever your range allows. Don't think you have to go far. It's on that inward move. Let's do it again. Long. Again, if you have hand weights, go for it. Push and drag. I want you to see this. Nice and long. Notice we come up tall. Good posture once again. We got singles. Push. And if you're without gliders, simple. We still come up tall. You're still going to feel the overload. You have to pay a little more attention to the inner thigh. Come down low. Low. Pull. Low. Drag. Low. Drag. Low. Drag. Low, you got it? Push, push, double time, here we go. Drive, pull. Are you pushing into that glider? I want those inner thighs to feel the effort of your workout tomorrow. Pull, pull, you got it. All right, ready, stand up. I'm gonna take you right over to the other side, no break right here. So be slow and drag, come up tall. This is all about core, as we mentioned earlier. Stay here, do it again. So how is my core working? My abs are helping my inner thighs bring my leg back in. Also, my glutes are working along with my inner thighs to drag that leg in. We got singles. Up, push. It's a power drive up, so we work that support leg. Hup. Push, drag, push. We're nice and tall. I'm gonna keep it here for eight more times. Eight more. Reach, come up tall. Reach, come up tall. Tight butt, gang, every time, every rep. There should be a tight butt squeeze. Here's two. All right, ready? Overload. Come low, push, abs, drag, reach, drag, drag. And reach. Two more like this. All right, ready for that double time? This is where the results lie, right here. Push and pull. Push and pull. Work it, work it. Drag, drag. Here's four, three, two, and rise. Shake it up. Give me a quad stretch. Three. Shake it out. All right, try the other side. Now, if you're feeling something in your back, slightly fatigued, 
because it's working. So don't be worried that you're not doing something correctly. That back is working really hard. Breathe, let it go. All right, body comes up. Shoulders back. All right, we're gonna shake it out. We're gonna take it to the floor. Take your gliders along with you. And hopefully I can get the place in here right so you can see everything that's happening. So we'll be here. All right, when you're ready. Can you see me? We got <coughs> upper body coming next. Pull us back in bed. All right, so again, same rules apply. I'm on my knees, you can go on your toes. We're gonna push away and drag in. Push away and drag in. Push away and drag in. Now, we're gonna go set of four here. Here's four, pull. The harder I press into my glider with the heel of my hand, the more resistance I create. Push. Now, I'm gonna take a break here. You don't have to. Press through, I'm gonna take a break so I can slide myself back. All right, you ready? We're gonna do that again. Shoulders back, abs on. We're gonna push out. There's your clean push up. Now drag to the chest. Push and drag. If you're new to exercise, do as many as you can. Take a break. We go push and drag. Let's do it again, another round. Push and drag. Push and drag. Again, reach and drag it in. Push and drag. Stretch out. Stretch. All right, we got one more set. With gliders, you don't have to do a lot of reps. When you're ready, you're gonna push out. Both elbows bend at the same time. Reach and drag in. Keep your head in neutral. Ignore me for now. You know what you gotta do. Keep your head lined up with the spine, push, and drag, stretch back. Shake it up. All right, this next one, another upper body component, involves the shoulders, involves the triceps. Do what you can, a little tricky on this one. You're gonna extend one arm straight and pull in. Opposite arm, extend straight out. Yeah, reach and pull. Now, as that arm extends, I want you to notice the tricep push up there. Let's try a few more, ready? Keep that elbow close to the body, drag it in. Heel the hand, provides the resistance. Push low, drag in. One more, push low, drag in, press back. All right, we good with that? We got two more steps, so shake it out. If it bothers your wrist, just take more, more breaks in between. Shoulders back, abs on. When you're ready, extend one arm. Try to push up the other arm. Drag it in. Push long. Drag it in. Now, gang, focus on your abs here. Yes, it's working the shoulders. Yes, it's working the triceps. But what's happening with your abs? Push. Drag in. Push. Drag in. I'm going to give you two more. Nice and long. Pull in, and one more. And pull in, stretch back. Shake it up, one more step. Again, guys, don't get discouraged. If you can only do one or two, that's fine. We'll get there. Shoulders back, abs on. All right, ready, last set, nice and long. Reach smooth, reach, and drag. The opposite elbow reaches to your toes. Long. So reach, you got just four more reps, two on each side, long, drag, go long, dig through the heel of your hand, drag, two more, push, and drag, and one more, go long, and drag, good stretch back, roll up the wrist, stretch out the triceps, Aye. grab some water if you have it here, and we're going to start with some ab work. Now be patient with me until I figure this out. Alright, when you're ready, place the gliders 
on your heels, or under your heels, I should say. <clears throat> so you know your crunches. We're just gonna add a little more resistance when you're ready. You're gonna squeeze. Keep your legs down for now. Squeeze. You don't have to get very high. Now with the gliders, you're not gonna get much range. As you come up with the shoulders, drag in your heels and release. Drag in your heels and release. Let's go again. Drag in and release. Drag in. All right, you got singles. Here we go. Pull. Pull. The harder you dig those heels on the way in, the more those abs will engage. Not concerned about the push out. All right, three pulls in. Here we go. Drag in, drag in, drag in. Now rest. Pull in, pull in, pull in, rest. Head is out of the picture. We're going to focus on that midsection onto one side now. Cross over and release. Stay on the side with me. Up you come and release. Now, are you digging your heel into the glider so that you can really engage those obliques tight? Slow three. Three, two, relax out. Here's where you do the work. And then you can rest. Squeeze three, two, once more. Tight. All right, guys, we got singles. Find your range, as we mentioned in a couple of videos back. Find your range. No need to pull in the head. Squeeze. Here's two. All right, three pulses to finish this side. Now squeeze. All right, go with me. Dig your heel into the glider. And again, pull, pull. Are you feeling it? Squeeze. All right, guys, heading over to the other side on two. Smooth two. And relax. Come across. And release. So on a slow count, just let me figure things out. Make sure everything's in place. Squeeze. All right, on three. Slow. Stretch long. Pull that body strong. Squeeze through your abs. Drive up. Three, two. You got singles. Here we go. Up. Up. Your range is your own. Tighten up. Three pulses. Are you ready? Dig your heel into the glider, rest. Dig your heel into the glider, rest. Again, we go without the glider. I hope you're still doing this. Just pull in, pull in, pull in, come center on two. Squeeze up two. So if you are without the glider, have a look. Squeeze two. And release. Still working abs. And release. We go squeeze. Slow three now. Three, two, if you have the gliders, you're dragging the gliders in towards the tush. Squeeze real tight. And release. We go squeeze, squeeze. You got singles. Here we go. Pull it in. In and come. Hup, tight. You can squeeze. Again, think bottom to top. Slide it in. Two more. Squeeze. All right. Three pulses. Here we go. Pulse. Three, two. And release. Three, two. And again. Three, two. Once more. Here. Three, two. All right. Super slow. Here we go. Slow. Hold it. Release. Long legs. Down with or without the gliders. Depending on what you have available to you. And release. Alternate singles with a crossover. Drive it. Come through, we're almost there. Strong. Pull across. Two more. Three pulses, one side. Again, we've got a chance to dig into the gliders. Again, if you're without the gliders, pull, pull, and release. Three, two, last chance. Super slow centers. Four, three, two, and release. All right, really think about this, guys. Hips drag in. 
towards the belly button, as do the ribs. Singles, here, singles. Draw in. We go tight, tight. Breathe four. All right, we're gonna finish this off with seven small pulses. So we dig, 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 dig. Here, three, two, let it go. Try that one more time, I promise we're done. With the abs, anyway. Squeeze, here, three, two, and stretch long. Woo! Nice long stretch. Hug those knees in. Release to that back. Body comes up. All right, guys, I'm back again. All right, we're gonna try working that entire core in our plank or hover position. I'm only gonna do four reps at a time. If you wanna continue past those four reps, you go ahead, but my plan is four reps, three rounds, all right? So we're gonna take it <clears throat> onto the toes. I will show options <clears throat> if you can't work from the toes. All right, so we're gonna leave the gliders at your feet and, and find you that strong hover, either on your elbows or on your hands, it doesn't matter. It depends on where you're comfortable. Either way though, the elbow or the wrist are right underneath the shoulders. Now we're gonna push one leg out and pull it in. Opposite leg goes out and pull it in. Just keep going. One leg out and again, reach long and in. Body stays tall and drag. All right, so we're gonna start <clears throat> After two more reps, and squeeze. Did you lose me there for a second? All right, take it down and relax. Down you go. I'm running out of space. <laughs> but we'll work with it. <clears throat> All right, when you're ready, let's try the same thing. Body's long. Let's do it again. Push one side out. Now drag it in. Push other side out. Drag it in. Push out and drag once more. Push out and drag. Take a break. Now, some of you might be asking, oh, my back feels that. Well, because your back is working. If it's getting too intense for you, take your body down, stretch out, take a breather. All right, let's try that one more time. As promised, three rounds. Out to the side, drag it in. There's those inner thighs again. Push out, drag in. Push out, stay strong to the abs, strong to the back. Reach and drag in and rest. To the back. Stretch out. All right, I'll give you one more today. And we'll call it a day. When you're ready, we got some new tops. <clears throat> We're gonna go alternating. So again, strong hover. Pull one knee in, push out. One knee in. Push out. One knee in. Push out one more time. One knee in. Push out. Relax. While you're relaxing, for those that find it difficult to take both legs in, keep one knee resting on the floor, and instead of alternating, go same side. All right, let's try it again. When you're ready, use your abs. And again, use your abs and push. Use your abs and push. Use your abs and push and rest. Relax through. Of course, you can also bring in both knees at the same time. Let's try one more set. Give it a go. You want to try both knees? We'll give it a try. All right, nice and strong. When you're ready, pull in. Push away and hold. Pull in. Push away and hold. Pull in, push away and hold. Pull in, push away and hold. And relax. If you don't have gliders, just hold your hover. And go work it that way. I do want to stretch you out before we go. So hang tough with me just for a little second longer. Back is a lot of work, so let's release to the back. Right, take one leg up, two legs long, holding. 
tuck in. Relax through the side. other side. Give me that long stretch. Please take some extra time to stretch out. And release. Body rolls up. Make right, nice and tall. Shoulders back. to the breather. All right, I do want you to take this inner thigh stretch. So, shoulders get together, let the knees relax. Guys, just a reminder for all those parents out there, great opportunity to example resilience for our kids, right? Tough time for everybody, but how can kids understand that life sometimes is tough and uh, you just gotta toughen up? So, opportunity for resilience. It's been lacking, uh, let's bring it back. All right, knees together, help yourself up, hands on thighs. Roll up slowly, shoulders back, shake it out. All right, gang, just one more thing before we go. <clears throat> Tomorrow will be athletic training. We will be doing it outdoors. Um, it will be set up a little differently. I'm gonna show you what you can do for athletic training, but I will leave the rest up to you. Uh, it wouldn't seem fair for us to do our athletic training here and for you to try to match our tempo or to for us to take away the tempo that you probably, some of you can probably manage. So we'll show you the drill. We'll, do, we'll let you work it, it at your own pace, use your own music, uh, bring the kids out, bring, uh, and do it together as a family. For now guys, keep well, and we will see you next time.